And so they're, they're always on his phosphorus, but then they tell him to eat protein. You eat protein is phosphorus. It's amazing. Amazing stuff. Uh, oh, good comment to Kelly there. Raw food for my life. Uh, good comment to Kelly. I mean, that's uh, you go after that and um, get yourself. Uh, May Freaky, let's see, I've read that when you have an acidic lifestyle and we gain fat, the acids go into the fat because the body is trying to keep it away from the major organs. Well, this is possible. I know that uh, a lot of chemicals are stored in the fat. Uh, didn't people like to eat the fat in animals or something? Mm -hmm. And due to this, when looking at the health of a fatter person versus a skinny person, both with acidic diets, the fatter person is healthier because the skinny person's acids have no fat. You know what? I've never thought of it that way. You gave me a new thing to think about. In all these years, I've never thought about that, to tell you the truth. Uh, I've always seen the fatter people more unhealthy, to be honest with you. Uh, skinnier people live longer, from what I see here. Uh, fatter people are having a ton of problems. But uh, I don't know, you know, you might be right with that. Um, <laughs> you, yeah, <laughs> once you go to McDonald's and get fat and sick, you check that out for me, man, and let me know. But uh, 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 I know your lymph system, and of course, fats are a very protective agent, so you're going to see a lot of metals and stuff in fats. I'm sure that's, that's an issue there. But whether it stores it in fat cells or not, I'm not sure. I don't know of any uh, clinical thing to that, but possible. Uh, um, I'm so glad you didn't sell your practice to that lady. Thank you. Thank you, May Freaky. I, yeah, um, she didn't work out too well. Well, but, you know, um, I don't think they're going to let me retire. Uh, but you guys are the next nature pass on the block. You all right now, a lot of you deserve the degree already. You guys are better than most of the nature pass out there. Isn't that, isn't that disgusting? I mean, not, not for you, but it's disgusting for me and my world of naturopathy because uh, we've been insulted by states. We've been uh, our rights removed from us. Uh, uh, the medical doctors just smearing our, our, our uh, mud by, by, by owning naturopathic schools and by this curriculum of treatment. You saw in the news where, now, you got to remember these, see, uh, uh, let's see, it was... Um, uh, one of the news agencies, um, Walter Cronkite, and um, oh, I can't remember which one, but they, um, 60 Minutes, and they did a special on uh, double blind studies. And what the bottom line on that one was is uh, whoever uh, supports the double blind study generally always wins. I mean, it was really a good look at double blind studies that these medical doctors are always saying, look at this double blind study. Well, 60 Minutes really exposed the fallacy of that and the ridiculousness of that, of these double-blind studies. Some of them done in a little old medical doctor's office with the wrong set of people and only a handful of people. I mean, it, it just, it's just on and on and on about that kind of stuff. Really what's important is how it works clinically. Now, what success are you having to cure or to eliminate one's symptoms? Uh, how do you get someone healthy and vital? Uh, that's what's key, not double blind studies and playing with that because we're playing in fields that are unnecessary. It's such an intellectual game, it's not even funny. And so it, it bars them. But this, this naturopathic uh, consciousness out there is disgusting. And I just happened to pick this up and I went to a naturopathic school and halfway through my course they began changing the curriculum to make it more acceptable. You know, th I didn't even read this one. I just picked this one up. How interesting. Yeah, thank you, Supreme Being. Acceptable to the allopathic model. That's what the problem is. We, you're not going to compromise truth because maybe some people don't like it. I know some of you probably get mad at me, but you know I don't compromise what I tell you. I tell you like it is, and what I've experienced, uh, it is what it is. You know, I find that sad. You know, to fit, we want to fit in. We don't want to fit in. We want truth. We want health. We want vitality. Give it to me straight, man. I tell you, when you come to see me, that's the problem. I'm going to give it to you straight. Uh, because if you don't get it straight, you're not, you know, that, that's disempowerment. Uh, so many of you know me, and uh, I, I, don't, I don't really cut too many corners. You know, I try to put some sugar on it. <laughs> uh, but I cut pretty straight here. So um, uh, in the end, uh, they were just about uh, pushing product. Oh, man, it's a naturopathic school here. See, that's disgusting. I ended up learning more from my own study and life experience. And you will. I'm a pretty much, I mean, I went to school, but I tell you what, uh, I've studied and made myself, myself. 
and uh, I wanted to be the knower here. And so that's going to make you a very good nature path, my friend. Uh, fruit uh, uh, fairy. Yes, you will do well uh, learning on your life experiences and reading the masters uh, than anything. Yes, you will make the best nature path there. I'm saving up to do your course. Sure, you'll be fine. You'll do well. You get this. And you're, it's, I, this is naturopathy. What I'm teaching you is true naturopathy. And it's not difficult. And uh, you don't need to have 10 years of studying crap that you'll never use or remember. Or pronounce. Love the iridology lesson. Thanks a lot, my friend. Eric, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think someone was asking about a mineral supplement. You're right, it was a mineral supplement. I wasn't familiar with that. Uh, I mean, I'm familiar with people coming in and asking me about it. Uh, especially the volcanic ash and stuff like that, and the cell food and all that kind of stuff. I'm familiar with that. I, again, don't get into the elementals. I, I think they're the hardest on the human body. Uh, they're low in their magnetics. Uh, they don't absorb well through the GI tract, and uh, so we develop chelation. So where we wrap an amino acid around a mineral, ugh, time to go, but... Um, and then uh, get it into the body. Well, when the body doesn't want to absorb something, I think that's a, an indication, given that there's no malabsorption issues. Uh, this was an interesting I read. This guy was poisoned by his juicer a few months ago. The juicer malfunctioned and it blended liquid plastic into my juice. He drank this, or she, Mark, uh, you drank this. Oh my God. To keep it sh uh, short, my tongue now feels congested and blocked. It's only on my tongue. How do I clean this out? I would definitely get some uh, heal all tea here, and I would do a lot of holding it in my mouth and spitting it out. And I would do a lot of holding these herbs in my mouth. I'd probably also do the three lung tea herbs. They're very um, expectorant uh, types. They, they break up hardened sputum and stuff. And I would definitely do a lot of mouth washes and holding it in my mouth and spitting it out. That's for darn sure. Especially locally here, I'd really get on that detoxification and really pull my... I'd use the GI broom, uh, maybe even uh, uh, you know some type of uh, bentonite charcoal mixture and really start pulling and cleaning my lymph. But I'd do a lot of mouth washes and stuff and spit it out is pull that out a lot of astringents and pull that out of my mouth man oh that's horrible uh, where does sweet come from so I go into a sauna oh sweat where uh, so I go into a sauna and sweat it uh, out does the sweat come from the lymph well yeah the skin is tied to the lymph if you look down subcutaneously this is the big lymph bed and this, uh, this bed, so yes, that's another case for having water. Uh, it definitely helps to sweat and move lymph out, but it isn't just water. You're sweating out acids. And yeah, well, absolutely. That's why you clean your body after you sweat. Absolutely. Yep. Um, that's why you sweat, Mark. But my God, that's horrible. Liquid plastic from a juicer. That's horrible. Uh, get it cleaned out, my friend. Uh, I'm going to get more into iridology, I promise you. For Indiana Banana, when I get back, I'll set you up here and I'll do your eyes over this and uh, show you there. Mental thoughts creating disease. Absolutely. Any obstruction to the flow of energy causes dis-ease. Any obstruction to the flow of energy. If you consider the primal flow of energy pure consciousness, and anything that obstructs pure consciousness would be considered a form of disease in a, in, a, in a spiritual sense, and thoughts would be considered an obstruction to the flow, because it takes it takes your awareness and narrows it down to an isolated focus, and that that is a big difference. It's easier to observe a lot of things as it is to think of a lot of things at the same time. You can only think of one thing at the same time, but you can observe a million. So, yeah, I mean, stop thinking like uh, Louise Hay. Yeah, absolutely. You stop thinking. I, I, don't, I disagree that all diseases are from the mind in that sense. Um, I mean, you could look from that perspective and say that, but I'm very hooked with a lot of spiritual people, and there's a lot of super positive thinkers. Uh, there's only a few that can manifest astrally into this world, but there's a lot of pure positive thinkers, and I've never seen one completely eliminate disease out of their body. I've never, and, and I use that word disease, and I want to spit it out and choke on it. 
uh, acidosis. You're in a physical world, you have physical laws, and you must follow the physical universe. The mental world has mental laws, and you follow that universe. The trouble is they're so intermingled that we think the mind can, you know, we can move that. And we do create with the mind, no question. And, and, but, but we also have a process of that. And you have to be in line with the laws because there are the natural laws of each universe that you can't go around. I don't know too many people that go around them. I know people that can manifest, but it's only a few masters that have been able to manifest it from the astral world into this world. It manifests, but it takes time and, and, and through a process. Very few can pull this out immediately. So, yeah, uh, positive uh, thoughts, but you're still using your mind. And in consciousness, thoughts of any nature, negative or positive, is, is, is an obstruction. Uh, it doesn't matter which side of the force, basically. Lion Man was saying this today. It doesn't matter which side of the force you're on. You're still on one side or the other, meaning you're still in creation. And if you want to get into these higher levels of consciousness and of God, you can't be for or against or be involved in either side of it. Yeah, it's my time's up. Okay, so I'm going to pull this right now. Thanks, Kathy, for that. Um, thanks, uh, all of you, for your comment. Uh, this one person drank massive amounts of milk and stuff. Uh, unbearable cramps. You see, the body wasn't even utilizing the calcium out of milk, was it? So now you're on grapes and stuff. Head on down the road, my friend. Keep detoxing. If you've been on massive amounts of milk, you have a massive lymphatic problem. So you're going to have to work yourself out of that. And a lot of mucus is coming out because you put a lot of mucus in. And so I've got to run here. Uh, but uh, I love you all and thank you so much. Thank you for sitting in, Diana, for this. And uh, uh, we appreciate all of you and have fun on your journey here. Make it a fun thing. Even if you're hurting, pull back from your physical body. Don't be your physical body. Don't let your physical body control your, your joy and your happiness. You be your joy and your happiness. If you got a hurting body, fix it. And I'm giving you all the tools here to fix it. Might take you a little while for some of you, but you know, okay. You know, but there is a remedy. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and keep focusing on that. But don't keep following that. Be in the light always. Be in the love and joy always, and then you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Someday I'll be healthy, and I'm working to it, but I'm suffering. No. Your body's the one going through it. You didn't. No one told you about the laws of the universe. And so you're learning the truth now. You're learning about the natural laws of nature and what the body is designed to be. It's going to take you a while to rebuild these bodies, but at the same time, you must learn to be in that eternal now where joy and ecstasy or nirvana exists. And it's as easy as letting go of the mind and emotions, if you can think that's easy. <laughs> See you later. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you in about a week. Thank you. Bye-bye.